Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White and today we'll be playing through the next part of episode 4 of Life is Strange 2. It is going to be fantastic. How fantastic? You'll never know until you watch this video. That's how fantastic. Take a second before we begin to like the video and we'll get right onto that gameplay video. Enjoy. Shit. Don't know how long I've been on the road. Need some rest. All right. Careful. Step one, sterile uh, gauze. Step one was supposed to be sterile gauze. Step two was the swab and cream. Come on, Sean. We didn't pay attention. Uh, man. I should have listened to Joey. I listened to Joey this for business. you. This was spo this was my job. Come on, Sean. I listened to Joey. You were supposed to do the saline solution first. Ugh. <laughs> All right. Well, it was a good effort. I don't even know how long I should keep on using this for. Um, you're supposed to do it four times a day. Until you run out. Just do it until you run out. Get some sleep is... Ah, okay, so we turn the light off when we're ready. All right, so I think we've done everything. Now, it, I do find it very interesting that Sean does remember what happened before the big blast that knocked him out, but Cassidy doesn't. She doesn't really have a memory of it. And so it's interesting. Still with me, Sean? <laughs> yeah. Just zoning out. Oh no. Just don't do that when you're driving, my son. Thank you. So, uh. He's making sense what's here. What's the verdict on the new car? I know it's not a new board, but it's got Ford Hot Wheels. Thanks for finishing it, Dad. A perfect reward for your excellent report card. <laughs> I'm proud, Sean. You don't even bullshit me when you need cash. And I'll try to be cool. No dad jokes, huh? I hope you're not too bummed out to go on a big road trip with your lovely papito, huh? <laughs> oh, please. You're the coolest dad. How could I be bummed? Excuse me. <laughs> Where's my regular, emotionless son? <laughs> I appreciate it. Think we can hang out for five days without killing each other? Hell yeah. Haven't done that since I was a kid. Miss it. So do I. Been too long since we went padre hijo against the road. <sighs> Way too long. I love road trips. Good to hear. <laughs> By the way, boy talk. What's going on with that gin, huh? <laughs> you know... Going okay, I guess. That was like pulling teeth. <laughs> well, I've got a week to find out the truth. It's just, I don't get to see her too much. Kind of miss her. Oh, you are hooked, my son. Don't worry. This is how it goes. 
Ah, could that be Daniel? Hola, hello. Everything okay, Lila? Oh, Daniel better not be giving you any sass. <laughs> nah, he's an angel. We went to the swing pool, and now we're making popcorn for movie <laughs> night. Yes, it's so cool. Hey, Sean, don't crash the car. He's driving <gasps> real slow and safe, like a grandma. <laughs> Thanks for checking in. We'll As buzz he you should. when we hit the motel. Lila, you ready? Sounds good. And Sean? Jen told me to say hi. Girl <laughs> cannot wait to see you again. Jen says hi. Sounds pretty good, Sean. You think? Maybe. Seriously, though. How are you really doing? I mean, okay, so this may be not as a memory. Okay, well, you understood what I meant. So perhaps this isn't a memory, and perhaps this is actually a dream. And so when he goes, how are you really doing? We get the option to say, I miss you, I miss home, or I've changed all of which seem to reflect his current situation, Sean. It's stupid, but I miss you. I miss you too, my son. But this is all part of growing up. It's not I a know. normal part of growing up. I don't like it. I have total faith in you, Sean. You're a Diaz. You were born to roam and find your way home. God, I love you, Dad. Aww. Wish I would have told you more. You didn't have to tell me. You showed me. Oh, by the way. <sighs> hey, wake up. Huh? Huh? What? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing on our property? Huh? Oh, man, I crashed hard. Oh, yeah? Come on out, boy. Who the fuck is that? A fucking kid. Get out. Look, I'm leaving, okay? Uh, no, you ain't. Step out, or I'll call the cops. You don't want that, boy. Yeah, but I really don't want to step out of the car. No need to. I I'm leaving, now. You deaf? I said out. Oh no. Oh no. Ugh. We don't need cops to deal with assholes like you anyway. Listen, I don't want any trouble. Too late for that, boy. So tell us what the fuck you're doing on our land. I just got lost, man. I wasn't sure where I was, so I pulled over. I swear, I had no idea this was your property. There's a fucking sign. Didn't you see it? I was too exhausted. I guess I missed it. He's just a kid and he's hurt. Look. Yeah? What happened to your eye? What do you expect me to say? I got into an accident. Oh yeah? Uh-huh. Move it. Huh. Please, I just want to go. Ho oh, ho, what's this? Drugs? Yeah, for my eyes. Oh yeah, Medical. did you steal them? Like this car? Well... I hate this. I lost my keys, and my friend helped me start it. You mean you hotwired it? Holy cow, fucking car thief too. Take his backpack. Dude, come on. Get it! Let's see what he's holding. So? Nothing good. Any money? Fucking toys, man. They're literally you trying to rob him. Seriously? It belongs to my brother. Leave it alone.
got to de-escalate. Your brother? You got to de-escalate. Where is he now? Well, I'm going to meet him. In a stolen car? More lies. <sighs> okay, Chad. We fucked with him. Oh, his hey, name is go. Chad. Hold on a sec, Mike. Come on. You speak Spanish, Pedro? Oh, my huh? God. What? 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 Hablas Espanol. Chad. So, Professor, how do you say, I'm a dirty thief? Oh, you don't want to share your language? <laughs> okay. Maybe you know this one. Uh, I'm a dirty thief with one eye. <laughs> No, just stop, please. Figures. You come here to steal, but don't want to give back. All I want to do is learn Espanol. <laughs> Might be our official language someday, right? See, si, senor? So, one more lesson. How do you say, this is not my country? I don't know. Told you. Well, that's the only one you should know, boy. Learn it. Look, Chad, it's gonna rain. Let's go before we get soaked. Hold on. This little thief is fucking with me. You're really pissing me off, you know that? But I'm willing to give you one last chance to make things right. Sing something. What? Just pass the audition and you're free. We'll be very upset if you refuse. I hate this. I don't know what it's going to do to Sean's mental state to give in. To accept that he just has no control over this situation. And just to continue trying to de-escalate and de-escalate and de-escalate and not make him angry knowing he's just gonna get angrier anyway because he wants to be angry. He wants a reason to be angry. He wants a reason to hurt this person. So what do you do when you're faced with that decision? Do you stand strong because of who you are and what you stand for? Or do you just give in because maybe you can get out of the situation faster? And what are the consequences of a, of a decision like this? ¿Dónde estás? Me pregunto qué serás en el cielo y en el mar. Un diamante de Jesus. Oh, Mike, let the boy finish his song. Go on. Go on. Estrellita, ¿dónde estás? <laughs> Pregunto que serás cuando el sol se ha ido ya, cuando nada brilla más. Tú nos muestras tu brillar, brillas, brillas sin parar. Estrellita, ¿dónde estás? Me pregunto, ¿qué serás? Well, damn! I think you just won Mexican Idol. <laughs> now pick up all your shit and get the fuck out. Don't ever come back. Understand?
So the... the Wolf Brothers were split apart. The oldest wolf was badly hurt, but nothing could stop the wolf from following his brother's tracks. Okay. Still a few hours away from Havenport. <sighs> Almost there. I just... That scene... It scene was really hard. Because... In that moment, it's almost... Oh, shit, I need a break. It's almost too painful... Might be some shade at the next billboard. ...to see yourself from the perspective of Sean. Having to... ...humiliate yourself as they laugh at you just to get out of a violent situation when you've already given everything you have to the singular goal of finding your brother and saving him. So that that vision forces you to instead of taking the role of Sean to take the role of bystander and just watch it. And that's horrible too. It's horrible to feel Sean's pain empathetically and, and want to do something so badly, can but you can't. Little, you just have to right? sit there. That scene is almost worse, worse pain than the other ones because it forces you to confront things about yourself. I can't believe these assholes. Is the whole fucking world out to get me? Yes. Shade. Oh, man. My feet are killing me. Feels like hiking in hell. Don't worry about your feet. Just pace yourself. Oh, shit. My throat feels like sand.
Never drew a desert before. Huh. It's so empty and quiet. Gosh, it okay. still jars me. Just that draw now. Don't think about anything else. The left else. side of the screen is like blacked out. It's it's jarring to realize why every time. Where's my observe button? I not can't see drawing? much depth anymore. I need to observe even more. There. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. This place is so empty. Huh. <laughs> At least I won't mess up perspective for once. <sighs> I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. <sighs> okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Guess I could spice things up a bit. <laughs> Make the whole thing funnier. I could try adding details. <sighs> Focus a bit more. <sighs> okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Man, my eye always starts hurting when I focus for too long. Still trying to recover from that last scene. That one hit me hard. I hated it. Hated every moment. And back to the walking. Daniel better be okay. Feels like I haven't seen him in years. Of course I miss everything about him. Even his whining. Coyote yeah, in the middle of the day. You can't wait to get out on your own. Now you are. And it sucks. <sighs> no way I'm gonna die out here. <sighs> Just keep on walking. <sighs> Shit, there's a truck coming. Should I, like, hide or... Whoa. Is she honking at me? He's stopping. Uh, okay, uh, be cool. Just uh, see what he wants. Listen, Sean, I'm gonna be honest. You don't have a track record of people wanting to help you. You only have, in this entire playthrough, had people who wanna hurt you. Intentionally or unintentionally. Cassidy being maybe one exception. Truckers can't be cops. Right. But truckers can be bad guys. Or people. They can be bad people. I don't know. I wouldn't get in the truck. Hey, need a lift? It's too damn hot to be walking. I know I said I wouldn't get in. But I feel like the longer we're just walking on the road, the more likely a highway patrol officer could come driving by and pick us up. I also feel like we need to conserve our energy because we might need it for something else later. But on the other hand, this trucker could have seen the pamphlets 
or heard on the radio that we're looking for blah 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 and truckers have ham radios so they would be they would know Word out for him. Nah, I'm just gonna walk. All right, kid. If you want to roast out there, it's it's your call. I'll be fine. Thanks. But then again, the trucker has already seen us, so they could, the trucker could just very well call us in. Maybe we should have gotten in. I don't know. Decisions are hard. Back to square one. Maybe I should have trusted that guy. Yeah, maybe we should have, but I don't know. But now instead we're just gonna walk. We're just gonna trudge along in our painful boots that are probably very hot and stifling right now, and we're probably sweating up a storm, and the chafing, blisters, and the break open, and infection. It's just probably a bad, bad news all around. Life is a gamble. Bet on the Lord. That's a that's a postcard blurb. <gasps> we made it. We made it to Haven Point. For sure. Claire wouldn't approve gambling. A lot of cars for a place in the middle of nowhere. How in the middle of nowhere are we talking? It's our map. Yeah. Pretty in the middle of nowhere here. Although... Yeah, there seems to be two different maps here. We've done this in the California, and now we're in Nevada. Here. Which seems to be pretty solidly in the middle of nowhere. Wow. Forgot about Easter. I completely lost track of time. Yeah, that's 2020 for sure. What does that sound? Hope those people are caring Christians. Like our grandparents. <laughs> what is she doing? Crying? I want to go investigate everywhere, but... I'm so fucking beat. Maybe, Maybe I should have hopped me. into that truck. Just want to explore everywhere. Can't leave. Yeah, well, you Gotta didn't have to let it. me walk the whole way over here before stopping me. You were going to stop me anyway. My eye is itchy again. Well, you should have followed the instructions. <laughs> Does she have the plague? You okay now? Is it gone? I... I think. 
Good. Scoot back inside now. Okay, Dad. If you are sick, you should be home. Uh, hello there. Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't worry. You here for the service? Uh, yeah. I, I am. But it's my first time. Don't be shy. Everybody's welcome here. No matter who you are or where you're from. In his eyes, we are all equal. Plus, we have a pretty nice spread after the service. Stay as long as you want. Okay. Um, thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'm just a vessel for our reverend. Thank her. <laughs> Looks like you're here to see our new miracle, right? Uh, what miracle? <laughs> you haven't heard of him? Oh, no. Then I won't spoil it for oh, you. Oh, no. He'll be here any minute now. Oh, no. Just come inside and Is see for yourself. Is it Daniel? Praise the Lord. Oh, no. I'm getting... Listen. From the moment... That poor little girl. Sean sounds real bad. walked in Her and said... Was nice. Maybe people won't judge me here. From the moment Sean said... I hope these people are nice Christians, like our grandparents. I immediately was like, you said that for a reason. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Okay. You know, when people are too happy and too Where welcoming, you, if it's too good to be true, it's a cult. Yeah, very humble. I'm gonna look around though. Cause that's what we do here in this Strange Rebel playthrough. We look at everything. Well, we try anyway. Dusty. <sighs> Fuck track. This is real walking. <laughs> My feet are dead. Okay, nice normal looking trash can here. Playground. Hmm. Must be more kids here. Oddly huh. large pretend Wonder screws. If Toy box. Okay. Got a window. I can't see anything. Checks out. Looks like a nice normal Guess window. It's time to go to church. Anything else around here that I need to be checking out? Anything else? It's gonna. <sighs> so weird to picture Daniel out Clear up my sneaky here. suspicions. Aha! Building in the back for living, eh? I don't know. Just saying. You got a sick plague child in there. And a real happy dad. Mm hmm. It seems a little cult-like to me. Nevada is like a giant slot machine. But this place seems different. Nevada, he called it. Weird. Looks like our old training range. <gasps> Daniel! Evidence of a Daniel! Feels... out of time. Hmm. Quiet. This walking is very slow. But I just wanna check everything Just in case this place is creepy I'm not gonna knock on that door though Maybe I am But I don't wanna go inside I wonder what kind of community this is Did Jacob really live here all his life? Nah, I'm not gonna knock on it Knock on it later I have a feeling for an area this extensive, there's going to be plenty of time for us to check around. A bucket, huh? What kind of bucket? It's taken forever to walk over there, so I hope the it's not just a normal bucket. Look for him. Seems like just a normal bucket. Lame. Okay. 
Let, this is the journal entry, let racist dickheads humiliate me so they wouldn't beat the shit out of me. Hurts, but I don't care. My only priority is to find Daniel. No biggie. Ego. No more gas. Gotta walk. End of the road. Oh, Dan. So this is a picture of his ego stabbed through the throat. It's really sad. May 11th, walking the remaining miles to Haven Point. May 11th, and it hasn't been Easter yet? That's not right. Clearly Easter is past. Walking the remaining miles to Haven Point through the desert. No food, no more water. My eye and skin burn like hell. Might actually die here, 10 miles away from finding Daniel. No, gotta hold on for him. Oh, the two wolves. What else is going in, going on in here? <clears throat> Picnic tables. Yep. This is hell. <laughs> Wonder how many people come and go through this place. Smells like bacon and bread in there. Oh, shit, I'm starving. through this whole area? I guess I am. See, now I'm primed with the idea that maybe I've been bad at takey-taking this entire playthrough, and I didn't get enough souvenirs, so now I'm really checking every nook and cranny that maybe I wouldn't have before. I can't help myself! It's, it's compulsive. This is literally as quick as we can go. Wow. Must be a pretty good church to drive all this way. Oh, I'm sure they're here for the miracle child. <clears throat> Not much different than my hipster stickers. People tend to showcase what they love. It's true, they do. Come on, Sean. I know you got blisters and pain in your foot, but... This is, this is already a very long playthrough. Let's go. All right, okay. into the church with the blight child. We Where go. are you, Daniel? Oh, feel that cold air. Oh, thank God for AC. Claire had pretty much the same ones. <laughs> Cute. Hey, it's for charity. <sighs> Me. Aha, uh -huh, I got a souvenir. A picnic with Daniel? What's going on? Sunday fun day. Come join Reverend Fisher and new disciple Daniel for a private picnic. All you can eat barbecue. Limited seats, $20 donation. Noon to 3 p.m. May 14th. So that's three days from now? Ish? Good. If Daniel's here, at least it won't go viral. Wonder how donations can pay for all of this. Okay, fine. Make me feel guilty. Oh, we put a dollar in there. That was worth it. Nice picture. Wonder if they'll let me in. Wait. No way. 
Oh no. The angel Danny. Oh no. Oh, shit. oh no. Behold the angel Daniel. Reverend Lizbeth Fisher invites you to witness the power of the Lord within our own child and church. Live miracles, noon and 4 p.m. services all are welcome. <sighs> okay, so they're using him like, okay, we don't know, but the indication based on that flyer is that they are using him for sideshow purposes. For Wonder their if own and Steven would like this place. Benefit. Why are they talking about my brother like that? Oh no. Praise be to Daniel, your friends, the Bead Bladdies. What a name. We saw a miracle child of Jesus today in Rev Fish's church. Thank you. I would not believe it unless I saw it with my very own eyes. Daniel is indeed an angel. Sent down onto us. Hallelujah. Sean Moore. Fake! Nice. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the angel David. He has arrived to clean the filth and sinners from this world. Bless his soul, a friend. I heard the word and will never forget this day or this church. The Reverend Mother is truly an instrument of the Lord. Amen. Rose Hornsby, Superior, Wyoming. That's how that was read. Okay, so maybe we can wash up in the bathroom before we go find Daniel. So, like, do you think Daniel, like, believes it because he's just a kid and maybe, like, you know, Jacob was like, I think you're an angel, kid. And then Daniel was like, I am. I am a gift Could've from nice God to go to because him. children are kind of like easily influenced. Like family. Shit. I got roasted out there. <sighs> Hope these people won't freak when they see me. And for the record, Daniel would have been at his most influenceable because he thinks Sean is dead. So, which is why he just took the money and ran. Better clean up first. So I don't scare Daniel. I mean... Do you think that helped? It was worth the effort, though. Alright, I think we've done it all. We could go upstairs. Might be worth checking out. Oh, okay. This is a, a foyer for viewing. Okay. Faith. We hear that word a lot. But faith is not just a word, my brothers and sisters. Oh, no. What is faith? Remember Luke 18, 27. What is impossible for man is possible for God. Amen. With that righteous faith comes the salvation of your souls. Can you cross that invisible bridge to salvation? Do you want your soul to be saved, brothers and sisters? Oh, yes. You are not like all these sinners out there. So I never asked the Lord for a sign. Then, he gave me one. He spoke to me and told me that I was doing right. And to reward our great faith, the Lord sent me the ultimate gift. Yes, he did. An angel. A child graced with the power of God. Yes. The miracle we have all been praying for, waiting for. Can I get a hallelujah? hallelujah. Do you have faith in his power? Do you have faith in me? Then please uh, don't love welcome that. our newest member. 
and our latest miracle, the angel Daniel. Praise you, Daniel. Here is Daniel, oh, praise be the Daniel. prophet who was thrown to the lions by false prophets. But God saved Daniel so he could do his work. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Daniel was brought to me to deliver us, praise to guide us from the wilderness oh, to our God. destiny. Now Daniel will reveal the true power of the Lord. is like, do the thing, do the thing. Wonder what that's like. Our flock keeps growing. I see more and more new faces. But this is only the beginning. You must spread the word. Oh, yes. Bear witness to this miracle. Thank you so much for coming. And God bless all of you. Amen. I'll say it, Daniel doesn't look happy. As our Reverend said, we do appreciate your kind donations. This helps us keep our church and to spread the word of God. Oh yeah, there's only a few tickets left for our picnic raffle next Sunday. Don't miss the child and another miracle. Any questions, please talk to me outside. Bless you for coming today. <laughs> it I I don't like the reverend's phrasing when she's constantly saying that like God spoke to me and gave me the answer to reward me and sent Daniel to me. You know, she isn't saying like we and for all and for for society. Hi. It's all oh, just uh... Me, 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 me. I me. saw you out in that parking lot earlier. I don't like yep. that. That was me. I like to be here too. We can see the whole room, and it's where a reverend mother teaches us classes. <coughs> Whoa. You don't okay? Touch her. Need Six some feet, water? social distancing, wear uh, masks. I'm, no, sorry. I'm just kind of sick. Oh, that sucks. Uh, that's too bad. <coughs> Cover your mouth, little girl. Children are disgusting. Hey, what happened to your eye? Well, that's a long story. That's okay. My name is Sarah Lee. What's yours? Aw, you must be Jacob's sister. Did you get that letter from Jacob back when he was in California? Yes. <coughs> How did you know he was in California? I was with him. Uh, that's... How we met. You are Daniel's brother? Really? He's always talking about you. Hey, uh, not too loud. Uh, yes, I'm Daniel's brother, but I need some help. The 
Reverend Mother says we always have to help our neighbor. What do you need? Who is this Reverend? You don't know her? That's her mother, Lisbeth. She was blessed by the hand of God when she was my age. <coughs> she can't ever sin. Yeah. The Lord guides her. Uh -huh, no. That's not how that works. <laughs> I know enough about religion to know that's not how that works. Me, a perfect person who can do no wrong, will guide you, all sinners. You're the worst and I'm the best and I will tell you how to live your lives. <laughs> no. That's not how genuine religion works. Sorry. Pass. That's how cults work, for the record. <laughs> what is this place? This is our home. <coughs> our church and community. The Reverend Mother says we were all chosen by God. What is Daniel doing here? He's our miracle, and the Lord brought him right to our Reverend Mother. I like him. He's really kind and funny. We play together all the time. So... There's this... Oh. Hmm. It definitely... Uh, this girl being sick... Like, it's, it's more than just she has a cold. It's in here for a reason. And I don't know if Daniel is being influenced, manipulated, or if he just has a place that'll feed him and so he's just doing what he needs to do to stay alive. I don't know. But it is interesting because when Jacob first saw Daniel's powers, my first thought was he's going to think he's a demon. You know, my first thought was, when someone religious sees anything that looks like magic, a lot of the times the instant fear brain goes to hell and demons and paganism and, and Satanism and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it's interesting that he, he either turned it a different direction to keep Daniel safe or he actually saw it a different way and thought, He's an angel, and we need to protect him. It's interesting. I, I, it's not the direction I expected, but it does feel equally dangerous because I don't think with this reverend not having the best of intentions, feeling very selfish and, and a little scammy, if I'm being honest, with all of that, I just sort of feel like they're not going to want to let Daniel go. And it's going to be a fight. And I'm not going to like it. <laughs> mm, um, which, is, which is a bummer. Because you have this juxtaposition of good Christian values. And how that reflects well on people in the grandparents. And then you have this like skewed fanaticism that happens when people... When one person, the reverend in this case, takes core values and just twists them in, in wrong ways, in ways that manipulate people and, and stoke their emotions in a, in a negative way. This, this whole, the way that the crowd was screaming in the church and, and losing their minds and falling to their knees... I understand that if you literally saw a miracle <laughs> that you could not explain and you were like, this is, my faith tells me this is God, that would bring you to tears, that would make you emotional. But the stoking of it that the reverend is doing and then constantly redirecting it to me, I brought this on, I am perfect, I cannot sin, I am the conduit to God, I am the only messaging you should be listening to, that's what feels evil about it to me. Not the faith, not the church, not the religion. All of that's good. The reverend is the one that's turning it into something not good. That's my initial take. That's what I don't like. That makes me suspicious and scared. So, can you take me to Daniel? Oh, yes. He's gonna be so happy when he sees you. 
He missed you so much for his Aww. birthday. It will be like a late surprise. Look Daniel, at all that money. you're the living proof of their faith. And mine. I know you understand. I guess... I mean... Sean? Oh my... Sean! You came back! I knew it! You've grown up, and I know. Do I look older? What? What happened to your eye? Don't worry. It's okay. Did that happen at the farm? Because of... me? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Who would choose I warned you there? Ew. Forget it. He literally got shot in the arm. I should have... It's okay. Does it... hurt? No. Apparently it's just itchy, which is gross. <laughs> Not as much as your haircut. Shut up. <laughs> it's a it's pretty different. gross haircut. I kind of like it. Sean, I didn't want to leave you there. Nothing I could do. I was so scared. I even thought you were dead. And... It's okay. We're together now. Yes. So, are you going to stay with us now? Huh? I... We still need to go to Puerto Lobos. But... We don't need to. We have a new home now. And a chance to process this. I'm sure this is all... so... overwhelming. By the way, my name is Lisbeth Fisher. We all prayed for your safe return. Sean... You must be a believer now in our Lord, too. I don't like the way she's, like, hugging Daniel to her side and, like, clinging to him physically. Get your hands off of him. I don't like it. Um, kinda. Daniel told me you had faith. That's how you got here. But first... I need Sarah Lee and Daniel to grab the medicine kit. We have to take care of our new guest. This is a place of healing. Aww. Let's do it later. I want to talk to him now. Daniel? Now. Okay, Reverend Mother. Let's go, Daniel. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. Well, Sean, it's a pleasure to meet you. This is a real blessing today. You were away from Daniel for quite a while. I was in a coma. Of course. <laughs> I wasn't judging you. So what is your plan, Sean? This is a blessed family, and it would be good for Daniel to have you by his side. You should know that the Lord has big plans for him. Or do you have big plans for him? Oh, he can say exactly what I said. I love it when the game does that. Let's lie and and say stay here for I don't have intentions to stay here for a while but I feel like lying to her because I don't trust her and I don't want her to get defensive or angry Maybe I could stay here for a while You know I am impressed by your drive and devotion but small is the gate and narrow the way I've heard everything about your journey, Sean. And I cannot let a sinner like you into my community. Not until you make penance. What? Are you serious? I'm sorry, my son. I'm not your son. And Daniel isn't gonna be your golden cow. Daniel! Well, we tried. Come on! Why don't we ask him what he wants to do? Do not touch me! What the fuck? What did you do? Nothing. Enough. 
You spilled blood. In the Lord's home. Sean! What happened? Your brother came in here, impure and acting like a criminal. But he can be saved, Daniel. I'm sorry, Sean. She's <sighs> right. I will pray for you. Then, when you're ready, we can. She's trying to manipulate you. Let me lead you to the one true light that never goes out. I want to be your friend. You're crazy. Let's get out of here, Daniel. I want to stay. Just go. There's your answer, Sean. We're together again. So we can go, right? Come on. Get off me, dude. What? Daniel! <coughs> let me go, asshole! <coughs> Daniel! They're not your family! Stop it. You just need to have faith. We'll be waiting. Daniel! It's okay, Sean. Sean. Daniel! <sighs> oh, I hate you go. this. Satisfied? Now don't you ever come back! Come on, kid. Don't make me do this. You're not gonna win. <sighs> You're pissing me off. This is private property. I have a legal right to stop any intruders like you. I just want my brother. But he doesn't want you. He was brought here, and this is where he's staying. Next time, I will not hesitate to use this. Now get out of here. Daniel, hey! Daniel. Sean? Karen? You won't get him back like this. Let's go. Well, that's not what I expected. Asking questions. Well, um, I got a letter from uh, Jacob. He said you were missing and that Daniel needed help. I believed him. Hmm. So you finally decided to check on him. You know, Sean, sooner or later, we're gonna have to talk. You could start talking now. Where are we even going? I already have a hotel room. You're gonna need to rest and clean that dressing. I am so interested to hear Karen's story. And that is going to be all for today's playthrough, but don't you worry, there's gonna be more coming at you soon. And of course, other playthroughs of other games. And I hope that you're enjoying the content that we have lined up right now. Lots of lots of good stuff. Of course, everything is live streamed on Twitch first and then posted here after and so if you're interested on in learning more about twitch for whatever reason go ahead and check it out the link is in the description below i hope you join the community there because it's a good group of folks and um it's just a, a very wonderful experience i really enjoyed as much as i love youtube i also really really enjoy making content for twitch and 
it's just it's just two different worlds and uh, both are great so whichever your preferred platform is i hope you're finding enjoyment in the content there please remember to like the video if you enjoyed it share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too and of course please remember to subscribe to this channel strange rebel gaming so you don't miss the next video that's all i love you all bye